was asked to do a presentation, you know, on clean, green, safe, serene. I asked myself this question, how can the Port Authority assist in branding Tobago? Clean, green, safe, and serene. Mm -hmm. But before going further, I want to comment on branding. I want to say that the people of Tobago have to believe in this brand because they will play a role in establishing this brand. In this regard, I want to add one P to the Honorable Chief Secretary's four P's. He had mentioned this yesterday. His four P's were persistent planning, progressive people. I want to add passionate to this mix because if you have passionate people, you have buy-in, you have ownership, you have the passion to see it succeed. Mr. Wilson gave a perfect example yesterday on where a tourist was beaten up somewhere in Tobago and he was leaving with his bad image and a local person took it upon himself to take him to Castara to really show him what Tobago life was supposed to be and this had changed his image and this is the type of passion I am talking about. The Port Authority is divided into three SBU, Strategic Business Units. PIPOS, which is the Port of Port of Spain, our container, container is arm. PASINCO, the Port of Spain Infrastructure Company, they handle our leases and whatnot. And the TTIT, the Trinidad and Tobago Inter-Island Transport, basically the ferry service. I want to focus my, my presentation today on this fast ferry service. Now, TTIT, it was formerly referred as to as a government shipping service. TTT manages the entire island ferry service for the government, and TTT plays a role in both local and cruise ship tourism. These are our vessels in our fleet. The, two, the top two are the fast ferries, the TNT Express, TNT yeah. Spirit. The lower two are the cargo vessel, the Warrior Spirit, the Superfast Galicia. What are some of the impact that we have at the, in operating the service? We have a lot of emissions such as NOx, SOx from diesel fuel burning, NOx being nitro, nitrogen oxide, SOx being sulfur oxide. We have food and cargo waste. Sometimes on, a, on a, a daily, on a given basis, we have close to 30 to 40 bags of garbage come out of these vessels on a daily basis. We have other issues, we have health issues, um, example, we have cargo traveling from both Trinidad and Tobago, and they are, they are infested with insects, namely cockroaches. And we have to constantly fight against these type of infestations. We have a security impact. We have illicit activities, drugs, arms, ammunition, and people with criminal intention traveling to and from Tobago. Now, the team of the day, clean, green, safe, and serene. Now, just to go back to the former slide, one of the main challenges we have as a, at the Port Authority is that on a given basis, on a sailing, we have sometimes close to 1,000 person waiting to, to go on the vessel. We have 200 vehicles, so it's difficult to conduct the checks that we are supposed to be carrying out to get that sailing off on time. So you all can appreciate the, the, the challenge that we have. Now, the team of the day, I go back to my question that I started with. How can the Port Authority assist in establishing this brand? Perhaps we could serve as a brand ambassador. But what we can do is set standards. The WHO, the World Health Organization, states that clean care is safer care, which helps to establish a clean environment. Using this, we can strive for a cleaner port environment, which will be beneficial to both our employees and customers. How we can do this, we can use proper disinfectants, ensure the place is properly sanitized. We want to introduce probably a checklist for our cleaning companies to ensure that they are up to our standards, and they can be monitored by our HSC department. We want to also set a, um, a green standard. At the Port Authority, we already started a drive, use less paper. This was started about two months ago. Rather than printing everything, we want to utilize electronic media. We want to reduce the amount of people being consumed. 
Yesterday, Dr. Rhodes spoke about better waste management. So we want to set our bins for recycling, waste, plastic, paper, glass, metal. You know, so we want to, when the recyclers, people come, they have these things already set out. So we will be helping in, in keeping the environment clean. We want to introduce eco-friendly products. Example, paper plates, sorry for, uh, it's coming up the, um, the words, but paper plates and cup. On the fair, we have a number of items being served on Startex plates and cups. So we want to introduce something that is more eco-friendly to the environment. Right? In terms of emission reduction, we, are, we started looking at alternative fuel. Rather than diesel burning, we started to look at the option of using LNG or even using CNG as, a, as the answer. Average fuel per trip is 14,000 each, and this is diesel fuel, and this is one vessel. So imagine the type of emission come out of those, these vessels. The annual cost of these fuel is over 39 million, and this is the estimated cost of one vessel. The IMO has already started a, a project on the unutilized energy, how can we utilize energy, and if it's possible. And they have presented us with a number of benefits that we can derive from using these ferry in terms of environment and being eco-friendly. LNG is cheaper than unsubsidized diesel fuel. LNG is environmentally friendly. When exposed to the environment, LNG rapidly evaporates, leaving no residue on water or soil. LNG is odorless, non-toxic, and non-corrosive. Exhaust emissions such as NOx and SOx are negligible. And NOx can be reduced by approximately 80%, 80 to 90%. In terms of safety and security, you want to also set standards for these. Now, this has been started already. We want to establish a safety, security, and health committee. We want this committee will be charged with certain undertakings, one being fire certification, going to ensure our, our terminals get their annual fire certifications. We want to be compliant with the OSH Act. We want to use the OSH Act to set standards in terms of safety and where we keep our buildings and whatnot. ISPS compliance. ISPS is the International Port Facility and Security Code. Now, we are, the Port Authority is ISPS certified and Yearly, the Coast Guard through the Designated Authority, they conduct an annual review and they use drills and water to ensure that the port authority is indeed compliant. This is an annual undertaking. We want to introduce an emergency management system to replace what we have at present. We're looking at a holistic, uh, holistic um, system, evacuation, proper evacuation routes, traffic plans, disaster preparedness. We want to conduct, um, consult with ODPM in Trinidad team in Tobago to ensure that we are on the right path and they know what we are doing. Right? I want to give you an example for you need for a proper evacuation route. Somewhere last year we had an incident on the vessel. There was a, a threat that there were explosive devices on the vessel. And when we decided that we would need to evacuate the, the buildings, we were going to send people to our master point. But lo and behold, if we had really that threat has really materialized and we had sent people to the master point we were actually putting them in the proximity of the disaster. So we want to look at different muster points according to the, the type of threats. We want to improve on security threats. Are we doing this? We want to build partnerships with police, customs, and immigration. We want a collaborative approach. If we get this going, the police will to help because we have a lot of repeat customers traveling on the ferry service to and from Tobago. The police can step in via database and let us know. And they have an idea who is traveling to Tobago and the frequency they are traveling. In terms of serene, there's only so much we can do to really add to it, to help Tobago. But TripAdvisor, and when I went onto their website, they said the serene environment is the best attraction. Calm and quiet. So you're looking for calm and quiet. That's what the tourists are mainly looking for. We want to create a, a calm and quiet port environment in terms of our customer experience. We want to make it hassle-free. And one of the tips they give is remove the bad mojo. That's the actual tip they have on their site, right? To the port authority, I accept that our customer service standard is not where it should be. 
And many people always, always give us a negative review. Often they give us a negative review. In this regard, this is bad mojo for us. So we want to change, get away from this bad mojo and change it. How do we do it? We want to better our customer's experience by better our customer service. How we do it? Better customer service training for employees to ensure that they are up to standard. They know where we want to be and they are responsible as employees. We want terminal, terminals upgrade, smooth process flow. We want to ensure that this, the trip is, is good for you to and from the, to and from the terminals. We want proper signage, multiple language. If I put myself as a foreigner on a two cruise vessel going to uh, some other land, the first thing I look for is signage because I want to see what I need to do and where do I need to go. So I want to close because stay with me in 10 minutes. I want to say thank, thank you for having me here. I want to say to the THA and the CEDP that the Port Authority is committed to doing our part in establishing and maintaining the brand of clean, green, safe and safe. Thank you.